Okay. Oh. Hi, I'm Johnny Pepper from Psychomania TV, and I'm here with the 56 Killers backstage at the Bedlam Breakout. Um, first, would you guys introduce yourselves? Let's start with you, Jim. Hello, I'm Jim Jeffries, and I sing sometimes and play guitar occasionally when I can be bothered to do it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Richards. I play drums and a bit of backing vocals. I'm Pete Hillary. I play double bass and do a bit of back backing vocals every now and then. Uh, I'm Connor Hillary. I play guitar most of the time. Uh, Lee Barnett, uh, singing, uh, shaking my fingers, mate. Right, you got those marimbas. Uh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I love the maraca, really, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Great. Well, I really loved your set. It was really, um, well, kind of roots. Rootsy? Rootsy. I mean, bluesy and rocky. Yeah. And it's got a bluesy feel. Yeah. Thing, it? But a bit horrible as well. Mm -hmm. Well, in what sense? That you said fuck a lot? <laughs> <laughs> and, and well, yeah, that's And cut. And cut. We're gonna have to make this dirty blues. That's yeah. what we play. Dirty, dirty blues. Yeah. That's what awesome. Um. So, um, why did you guys? I know you guys are. Um, we've got some old timers here. Maybe not you, come <laughs> on, but um, you guys have on. been working in a lot of other bands and have a lot of lot of other projects. Um. So why did you decide to to do this particular one? Uh, shall I start this one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lee and Mark and myself have been in the caravans, uh, Lee's still in the caravans, uh, yeah. so we're all sort of what I say caravans trained. Yeah. Um, and Mark thought that Pete and I were mates because everyone thought that Pete and I were mates since 1987. Huh. And he said, Oh, we said, uh, Pete's son's really good. And I said, I haven't met Pete. I said, I've known about Pete for 20 years. Yeah. And he said, Connor plays bass and guitar. He was only about 16 at the time. Yeah. He said, Can you come around your house if we can? So that was about 2010. Mm -hmm. and then we started doing a little gig, and I said to Lee, I said, just for fun, come over and sing a little bit and bop around the stage, and that was yeah. in 2011. And uh, yeah. Lee the rest liked is it. History. Yeah, and I'm, I'm getting old and tired, so I said, Lee can sing some, and Connor can take some knee breaks, and I'll just chill out a little bit and just swear a lot. <laughs> yeah. It works well with us, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sweat a lot. Well, I love having, I, I personally love it when there's like lots of people on stage doing stuff, you know, it makes a big Absolutely. sound, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, there's lots going we, on. We started out with two drumming, didn't we? we yeah. Really? You had a, but I, I started, I, when we first did it, I just got up and did one song on double bass, although I'm not, I mean, I'm a drummer, you know, essentially a drummer. Yes. But um, it started, I just got up and did one song on bass, Pete went on rhythm guitar, and then I, I suppose I was dancing around in the crowd and stuff like that, and they just said, well, you know, why don't you get up on the stage and do that? Well, you might as well do it up here rather than down there. So that was the next bit. And then uh, got drunk one night, uh, and Jim says, uh, you're going to sing this one. I said, well, well I don't sing, because I don't sing. Um, <laughs> I knew we could. And then, it fooled me. And then he said, uh, so you're going to sing this one? I'm like, yeah, right, wherever. And he, uh, so anyway, I, we were on stage, and nothing was happening, so I just made the lyrics up. and. <laughs> They were all drunk anyway, so it didn't fucking matter anyway. So. Exactly good. And then, uh, and then it just went from there, really. So. Great, yeah. great. So you guys did a record together? A CD EP. A, a yeah. CD EP. Just around my place, just all live in a room. Yeah, um, it's all live. No overdubs. Like no no overdubs. Nothing. Oh, just that's just real. Swag in, swag it's real. It there is nothing on there that is overdubs. It took about two hours. We had like one hour running through the four songs, and yeah. then we did like two versions of each. Chose the best one, and that was it. Great. And obviously we've got to do a full album uh, before the stomp. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, we're doing we're doing this tank stomp for Lonesome right. in May next year, not mm -hmm. Easter, not yeah. Easter, May. It's May. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got to put our fingers out. Uh, obviously, we, we've all we've all been sort of doing stuff for years, and sometimes you you get a little bit like, come on, got to kick your ass and yeah. get on and do it. Yeah. And uh, the chaps are they're, they're down in Brighton. Uh, Mark and Peter over in Southampton, so it's not too far, but obviously logistically it's not easy just to like, yeah. we're, we're not kids anymore, we can't hang out every Tuesday like, you know, like teenagers, because yeah. we all we can, we'd be yeah. bored every yeah. time, you know what yeah. I mean? He said, he said, can I bring the dad with me? So, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that would be one of the challenges of doing a, a project like this. I assume you guys are also working on other things yeah, at the same always, time, yeah. so to get together and give the time and attention to this yeah. project. I think the good thing it's is we all sort of think along the same lines, don't we? We all want the same yeah. thing. The thing and is, it, it, the, 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 the whole thing is that it's that it's good fun, and um, you know it, it, it's the same old thing with a lot of bands. Over the, uh, you know, as they go on, it gets a little bit crabby and a little bit this and a little bit that. And I think the moment it's not fun anymore, you shouldn't be doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, we all get on really well, and uh, it's yeah. just good fun when we and what we're doing up there. And not at stage, it's just literally us having a laugh, you know. And that's what it's all about. 
It looked like you were having yeah. fun. That's it. We, we didn't know what happened. We, we run around next thing I know, I pull something out or stomp on something, but it's live and we do what we yeah. feel. Yeah. It, 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 it just happens. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay. We don't really rehearse. We don't really rehearse. We have one one rehearsal if you're lucky, and we just get up there and make it up as we go along. So, you know, yeah. it's just until what happens. Until people sprung up randomly. Yeah. 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 Until people are dancing and they enjoy it. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. It's supposed to be fun, you know. Yes. For people and us, mm -hmm. so. we, 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 we do a lot of psych video gigs because yeah. people sometimes they want to break rather than full on smash it up. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Lee and I have done many stages where we go on and just do an hour of fucking smashing things up. Yeah, we still do a little bit of that, <laughs> so, but we give people a time just to pause and the girls have a bit of a groove and that. Mm -hmm. and you get the girls dancing and the blokes look happy, and then yeah. everyone's happy. Yeah. Yeah, and we're happy. Yeah, yeah. if the girls are happy, everyone's happy. <laughs> that's true. Very true. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the girls are happy. That's all that matters. Right? Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, it was like that in between rockabilly and psychobilly, isn't it? So you can play a rockabilly gigs, psychobilly. Well, like old psychobilly yeah, yeah, was an 80, 80, 81 to 84. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want yeah, ginger. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing about it. The good, best thing about this band is that you can't, you can't pigeonhole us. We're not a psychobilly band, we're not a rockabilly band, yeah. we're not a neo rockabilly band. Yeah. So we don't want to be we, can, we appeal to. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Or no one. Or no one. And to be honest with you, we don't care anyway. Yeah. We always go down well. So yeah. the, thing is, the thing is with it, to be caught on. Yeah, yeah. 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 The thing is with it, to be caught us, you can stick us on any stage, on any lineup, yeah. anywhere in the world, we'll and we'll just stab it, you know. Yeah. And people yeah. are, seem to have fun, and uh, and we do. So as I said before, yeah. we've gone down well in some weird places, haven't we? Oh yeah, well, I've been in some you're... weird places. <laughs> 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 Great. Okay, so next, you guys are going to record an album. Yeah. You're going to do it live, also. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll try and do it live. Maybe a little bit of touching up because it is you know, the thing with the record. People yeah. want to play it again and again. And this yeah. little little bits where there's a shuffle wrong or something like that, mm. you know, or guitars a bit, mm. then it pisses people off. So, right. but we want to keep that integral live punchiness to it. We don't we don't like squeaky and, clean. Uh, squeaky clean. Right. No, that wouldn't yeah. sue you at all. Nah, 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 it won't be super crap. produced. We know that. Okay. And we've got a couple, we've got a couple of gigs. We're playing up in uh, Nottingham in October, mm -hmm. um, and in uh, November we're going to Bad Bergen. For Mr. Cracker's Jamboree with the oh, Go Getters. Oh, and, that sounds great. And also my friend Rene from the Hot Wheels. They're, they're yeah. Oh, wow, great, yeah. great. So we're, we're getting out a little bit and doing. Yeah. We're, we're selective. We, we pick the things we want to do. Yes. If Rome's want to book us and we want to do it, then we'll do it. Right. But we don't want to do everything everywhere. People get bored of it and then mm. we get bored mm. of it. So it's mm. got to be. It's got to be cool. Yes. Quality. <laughs> Quality over yeah. quantity. Yeah. Great. So when can we look for the record? Stomp. At the stomp. I can't no. promise it before then because okay. it takes a while to get these things yeah. sorted. Okay, that gives you eight, nine months. Yeah, okay, we'll get it sorted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got most of it there, we just haven't got around finishing bits and pieces and uh, once we've yeah. done that, it, we just get in there and do it. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah great. Um, yeah. And what's with the panties? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that'd be, that'd be that was your Stuart did her oh, well, fine. Yeah, yeah. The only problem is all the panties are blokes ones. <laughs> ones I'm getting. And, and they were sort of granny panties. Yeah. I'm quite used to that. They're really bright, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I think I'll find the main instigator from that little ploy was a studio cabinet. I've got something in my eye after that one hit me in the face. All right. Thank you very much, 56 Killers. Kiss bit. Uh, and we'll look forward to your new record sometime in the spring yeah. by the Satanic Stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. And people can find you on Facebook? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Do you have a website or anything like that? No, uh, there's a link on myjimjeffries.eu. Okay. No one does websites and everyone's on Facebook. Everyone's it's mostly on Facebook, it's just yeah. slash 56 killers without, without okay. space. That's where you can find these guys. Oh, yeah. you can go out and see them. They're great. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, they're great. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you're you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Nice one. See you out. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. 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 Thank